When you read about the description of Christ, the disciples saw Christ, did they not? Yeah. Christ walked the earth just like the, ref, the, yeah. the other disciples did, right? Uh -huh. If he walked the planet Earth along with everybody else, that means he had a body. Okay. You, right. you agree with right. me? If he had a body, that means he had skin. Right. That means he had color. Right. That means that there's a description of what he looked like. Uh -huh. Can you go back to hold this and go back to the scripture that you were reading earlier? chapter 11 and verse 3 but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility the serpent is talking about Esau that's the man that's over the churches now and he said deceive our people in lies that's what this is going into read it again and read on but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility and it was subtle how they did it the, the churches and the religions came to us and acted as if they were teaching the real gospel of Jesus. That's a subtility. But what did they end up giving us? Lies. Read. So your minds should be corrupted from the... That's what happened to our people as a result of being taught these subtle lies. Their minds became corrupted to the point where they can't even see truth that's clearly written in the Bible. You got me? Read. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simplicity meaning the simple things about Christ, they can't understand it. That's what he's talking about. The simple things about what Christ looked like is simple. Brother, 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 if you're going to stand here, you got to be quiet. The simple things that is in Christ is meaning like his color. That's simple. Now read that statement again. That, that fourth verse, the last verse. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simple things that's about Christ. Our people's minds are corrupt even on a simple level. When you ask our people, what does Christ look like? They don't know, but they've been in church for 30 years. They've been in church for 20 years. You ask them the simple things about what color was he? They're like, God says he's all colors, but yet the Bible tells you what he looks like. How is it that 30 years of sitting in these churches, our people don't know this? I'm just saying that's a simple thing. Listen, read. Verse four, for if he that preaching another Jesus this is what happened in the churches the churches came to our people with the Bible but they gave you a subtle teaching that was not in the scriptures that's how our people became corrupted you tell them about the color of Jesus and what it looked like people talking about he was all colors there's no man that ever walked that's all colors did you see what I mean our people minds have been corrupted with lies that's why the Bible is hated correctly the truth, when you teach the Bible, not my words, they have to read the Bible. Read that statement again. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. When it says whom we have not preached, the disciples never taught about the stuff that you're hearing about in the churches now. The Bible, the Bible itself don't even talk about the stuff that's out here in these churches now. People pass by and see us reading the Bible and they be like, what, what are they reading? What, what, what religion are they? And we're reading the pure Bible, straight up. It's because they never heard it, because the preachers don't teach it. You follow me? Read it again. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. The disciples did not teach about this image that y'all call Jesus. The Bible doesn't preach about this as Jesus, but yet our people have not, have, their minds have been corrupted. They think this is Jesus. Read. Or if he receives another spirit what came along with these lies with these images what came along with this That's another spirit you know what that spirit is what they call Christianity that's the spirit that came with this lie read that whole verse again for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus if a preacher coming to you with a Bible teaching about another Jesus who we have not preached about the disciples never taught about this Christianity that I people learn about the disciples never told you about a white so-called white image of Jesus, they never told you that. They told you that Christ was a black man, that's what's recorded in the head. But the people don't hear that. The people are not taught that. Read it again. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached. So the disciples, the teachers of God never taught these lies. They taught the truth. That's the reason why Paul says in the scriptures, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth, because our people are so accustomed, because their minds have been corrupted with lies. You understand? Read. Or if he received another spirit. What is the spirit that they received? The laws of God is done away with. 
You don't have to keep the laws of God anymore. That's what they teach in the churches. Yet the laws in the Bible are recorded from Genesis to Revelation. Laws in here. So why is it that they've got the people thinking that they don't have to keep God's laws? Because that's another spirit. That's not the spirit that Christ said. Hold that. Give me what Christ said if you love me. Let's, let's see what Jesus himself said. Since they said they're teaching about Jesus, let's see what Jesus said. John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. So how is it that the church has got this doctrine saying, come as you are, and you stay that way? The whole point about teaching our people is to call them in to this truth, call them into the church, and teach them where they're going wrong at, to clean them up, not leave them the same way they came in. That's what the preachers are supposed to be doing. So if you love Christ, find out what his commandments are, they keep his commandments. Amen. Now, go back to where we was at. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So this is another gospel that our people have received. This is another Jesus that they have received. They have not heard the Bible yet. Read. Whom we have not preached. The disciples, nor the, the disciples, the Israelites never taught this garbage that they have out here now. Or if he received another spirit. The other spirit is these doctrines that they have our people tied up in. Talking about the laws of God are done away with. Talking about that, that everybody's God's people. When the Most High said the Israelites are his people. Right. You need to find out who you are according to the Bible. We didn't, we are, the, re the reason why we are over here is because, listen sister, we broke God's laws. This is not an accident that you're here hearing this today. We are the descendants of those that broke the laws in the past. Meaning Moses, Solomon, David, Joshua. All of those of our forefathers. We were the ones that came out of Egypt with Moses. We were the ones that was given the laws to keep God's commandments. And if we were to break God's commandments, God would put us into captivity. That's where we're at now. All of us in here. Let me just finish up. I'm going to deal with your question. Let me finish it up. All the information that you're asking for is in here. The website is there. We have classes three times, uh, uh, three times a day, seven days a week. Okay, I don't know. Right. Okay, well, we all. Where do you live at? Rochester. Rochester? We have schools in Rochester. Yes, sir. Like I said, call the number on there and we, have, we can help you up with the local chapter where you can really get some information. Let me finish up. I'm almost okay. done. For if, he, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if he receive another spirit which he have not received. All of us have had to battle against these other spirits. So. We, listen, listen to the next part. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted. We do not accept the lies that have been taught out here on the Bible. That's what it means. We have not accepted when they lie about Jesus. When they lie about what he came for. When they lie about what the Bible is for. When they lie about who the Israelites are. We, as God's people, we do not accept that. Because we only going to accept what's in this Bible. You follow me? Read that statement again. Or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. And that's what our job is. Bear with them means tear their butt up in the scriptures. That's what it means. When they come out with lies, we have to correct them according to the word of the Most High. So that's the purpose of why I went through the thing about the other gospel. Because right now, you've been taught that it's okay for a woman to dress with pants on. But if we love God, if we like the scriptures say, Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. One of the commandments of Christ is that a woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, right. meaning pants. Right. But the church has said, it's okay for you to continue to do that. You'll be in church for 20, 30, 40 years, and they will never tell you that law. And that's going to get us killed, because your minds have been corrupted into thinking that that's the correct way, but the Lord says that these ways that you think are right is going to ultimately end to be your destruction. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. That's what I'm talking about. Because the people have not learned what Christ really means in the Bible. Because the gospel, the true gospel of Christ have not been taught. Okay? So repentance starts with, number one, finding out who you are according to the Bible. God made the nations on this earth. Which, are the, which nation do you come out of on, the, on, the, on this earth? These, the churches and the religious system have us saying that we're all Gentiles. Gentiles are named in here. The Gentiles have names on them. The Gergeshites, the Parasites, the Edomites, the Israelites, the Hamites. These are different.
different nations among the Gentiles. So what, if we want to call ourselves Gentiles, what name Gentile do we come from? We don't know. Why? Because we fit the curses of what this Bible talks about. When it says that Israel shall, it said that uh, that ox knoweth his owner and the jackass knows where his land is at, but the Israelites don't know who they are and they don't know where their land is at. Mm -hmm. So that's letting you know that we're the Israelites. We are what the, the Bible says the lost sheep of the house of Israel lost because they don't know who they are. Right. That's how, that's where you fit in at. That's where we all fit at at one point. Until we have to wake up and find out that we are in fact the Israelites that broke God's laws. And why did we go into captivity? Because when we broke God's laws, our father got mad at us and he put us in conditions of punishment. And the whole point, and the whole point was about for us to learn our lesson while we were in our captivity, wake up as a result of the punishment and repent and return back unto him. And repent for the wrong that we have done in the past. That's what Christ's death on the cross meant. It gave us the opportunity to repent for our sins. Right. That's the point. That's what we read about. Okay? So where the brother? Come on back. Thank you for your information. Right, so that information you had, going to You had a question, brother. What was your question? Um, uh, date in uh, the history books, they say we came in 1616. I just found out through um, Elizabeth's math that we actually came here 1515. They lied and um, said, oh yeah, we were still in slavery for we, like we another were, 100 years. We were born here in 1492, the Northern Tribes came first. Yeah. We came in 1619 over here. Mm -hmm. No, but, but when we ran when we ran from Africa, yeah, that's true. But when we ran from Africa, they only recorded 1615 okay. in the history books in school. So I already knew that okay, was a lie. It's important that you don't get caught up in all different, give me that uh, mm -hmm. Sophia, 12 and 12 and uh, it's imperative, it's important that you don't get caught up in reading a lot yeah, of books. To me, you can use books to cross-reference things, yeah. but me, per se, I stick with the Bible. I don't really go No, outside. no, no, I, I go off I go for the um, scripture, uh, okay. King James, but what I'm saying is, they recorded that we actually was um, born um, and um, we were, we were, into slavery over here in 1616. We were born in 1492 with the Northern Tribe, that's the so-called Hispanics. Then we came in 1692 after the blacks came after the Hispanics in 1619. 1619. In 70 AD, we were, we were surrounded, we were attacked by the Romans, and then we fled into Africa at that time. 17 AD? 70, 70 AD. But I mean, that's, we're we going off for the AD. Um, give that's, me the uh, please, listen to the scripture. After brother. the death listen, of Christ. Listen, 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 listen. Listen to the scripture. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12. And further by these, my son. And further by these, my son. Okay, we don't. Be admonished. Be admonished. When it says to be admonished, what does that mean? Sure. To be admonished meaning I'm giving you warning to not get caught up in a whole different bunch of books. The history book that you should read, like I said, it's okay to cross-reference certain books, but your history book that you should read mainly is this and this only. So read it again for the brother. And further by these my son be admonished meaning i'm giving you warning i'm warning you not to get caught up in a lot of books okay read on of making many books the making of many books the so-called history books the history books aren't telling you who you are according to god no it's, it's all so it's god. all it's all bs yeah you know there is no end there's no end of making books okay go ahead and much study now if you're studying all these different books all the so-called history books you know? It's a weariness of the flesh. It's going to make you worry in your flesh and your understanding of who you are. Make you and crazy. Make you bogged out in your mind. Mm -hmm. Now give me Proverbs 3 and uh, 6 about leaning not to thy own understanding. Give me that one. Proverbs 3. But, uh, seven, uh, AD is... Listen, um, listen, listen, bro. Listen, listen. I, I, listen, 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 listen. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. You got to listen first. You're going back to what I told you to stay away from. Mm -hmm. But just listen up. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord. You are to trust in God, the Most High God. Trust in the Lord, read on. With all thine heart. With all your heart, meaning your mind, read on. And lean not. And lean not. Lean not. Unto thine own understanding. And lean not to your own understanding. You understand that? Yes. So what does it mean? That means you, um, you focus on the, the physical truth 
a manifestation of God, the actual evidence that you Okay, what is that what is that what does that mean? That you means you don't, you don't you don't focus on your own understanding. You don't make it you don't read something and then make it fit what you naturally do. Exactly. Yeah. So now my my question to you is yeah. What's your identity? What Judah. tribe do you come from? Judah. You're from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Okay. You're from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. How do you go about repentance? You know about anything about repentance? Um you you would first need to study, then you probably need to isolate. Give me that, yourself give me that in Isaiah 34, 16. Like serious prayer. Okay, I, I'm gonna go through the steps with you in terms of prayer and repentance. Right. But listen to this one scripture, okay? Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So first thing you must do is seek ye out of the book of the Lord and do what? Read. read. Black folks don't read. Yeah, they don't Hispanics study. don't read. Yeah, the slaves. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. No one of these, meaning the prophecies in the Bible are not going to fail. I mean, they will, they will come to pass. Yeah. Go ahead. None shall want her mate. None shall want her mate. Meaning all these books that you read, Islam, uh, any book that you bring up in reference to this, none shall want her mate. You know what? For my mouth, it had commanded. But my mouth, it had commanded. What are we out here teaching? The laws, the statutes, and God's commandments. Now, give you said repentance, right? I'm going to teach you about repentance. You understand that? Give me first case eight and 46. We're going to go through the steps of repentance. Okay? First Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Now, are you listening? I don't want you to drift off. You listen to what's coming out? Yes. So what have you learned so far? You um, you said that we came here um, 1692? 1619. The northern tribes came here in 1492. The so-called blacks came after in 1692. 1619. 1619, I'm sorry. 1619, okay? Yeah. All right, and you said the um, northern tribes came here in 1492? Yes, they came here in 1492. Okay. Here's the main here's the main thing we got to get the other saying, huh? Your Deuteronomy. They got it. Huh? No. Deuteronomy 12 and 10 or 10 and 12. Because if you know you're from the tribe of Judah, then this is what needs to be going on right now. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? A lot of times we as Israelites that first come into the body first coming to the truth the main thing that we want to get excited about is the prophecies of God talking about the bombs talking about the, the prophecies of this the prophecies of that but they leave themselves out in terms of what's required of them right right read that again and now Israel what does the Lord thy God require of thee what does the Lord require of you does he require all of the stuff that normally people talk about no let's find out what it requires but to to fear the Lord thy God means what? To, what does it mean? To hold his law, statutes, and commandments. Do, what, what do it mean? To hold his law, statutes, and commandments and be aware. To hold his law, statutes, and commandments and be aware of them. That's your answer? Let's read it. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. That's what the thing is about. It ain't just about acknowledging them and remembering them in terms of having them in our minds. We're supposed to do them. That's what he meant when he says walk in his ways. When it says walk in his ways, that means people are supposed to look at you and see that you're keeping the commandments of God. That's what it means. That's what it means. Now, give me uh, numbers. Numbers. Numbers 15. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Meaning forever. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. 
You see how clear that is? Why is it, if we're gonna know that we are from the tribe of Judah or any other tribe, and the Lord said what is required of us, we're supposed to do what it says in this Bible. So whenever we come to a point where we don't do that, that means we are in error in terms of what we claim to be. You follow me? So you have to start with that. Because knowing all of the prophecies and all of the deep this and the dates of that, Christopher Columbus this, the conquistadors that, 70 AD, 1492, all you can know all of that stuff from A to Z. But if you're not keeping God's laws, you're going to get killed when Christ comes back. That's right. Plain and simple. Okay, give me Psalms 111 and 10. So the objective, brother, is to keep God's commandments and live. But give me Psalms 111 and 10. Go a little further. Bring that scripture out. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So you, in order to fear God, it give, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read on. A good understanding. A good understanding. Go ahead. Have all they that do his commandments. So in order to have a good understanding, you must do God's commandments. Again, that's the fear of the Lord. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.